The walkway is directly between the communications towers. Head for there. Snake, the launch deadline for the new nuclear warhead is almost here. Hurry and get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. The overland route is blocked by a glacier. Climb the communications tower so you can go over it. The communications tower consists of Tower A and Tower B. You're in Tower A now. To get to Tower B, you'll have to use the outside walkway. Remember, Snake, dark places are dangerous places. You can't see where your enemies are coming from. Please, use your night vision goggles or your thermal goggles.
own way down. If I had a rope, I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. to repel. Press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from the hind while you repel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake.
Don't shoot! It's me! Don't shoot! It's me, Snake! Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom? Even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But... If you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, uh, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. Oh, shit. 
shadow! What? Ask the father that you killed! I'll send you to hell to meet him!
let's make. The elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake! Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. There's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135, but that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake! Now die!
Jake! Are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please! She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake. I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start.
waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You, you cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a card. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A card? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield, raised on a battlefield, gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day, driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale at some price or another, but you're different, untamed, solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. Hero, please set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now.
goodbye. Love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay! I'll be searching too!
story. We shouldn't have turned our backs on the Kurds after the Gulf War. Listen, we're not responsible for her choices. Everyone decides their own fate, no matter where they were born. Words like fate, karma, it's just an excuse for giving up if you ask me. I don't agree with you. Maybe if she hadn't been born on a battlefield, she might have had a happier, more fulfilling life. She might not have turned into a killer. <laughs>